learning that one of the Oregon Shakespeare Festival's leaders has received death threats. It's led to OSF and a couple New York theater organizations to condemn the messages made against the artistic director. NBC 5's Anthony Carter spoke with her today and has more. Shelley, Nataki Garrett first spoke out about what she calls credible threats to NPR last week. However, she says this won't change her focus on it as she continues to keep OSF tradition alive. This is something I've been dealing with for a, quite a few months now. Since taking over in 2019, Oregon Shakespeare Festival artistic director Nataki Garrett has been credited with evolving OSF shows. Didn't put the sign on your door, Sandra. But going into the upcoming season, she's opening up about what she calls credible death threats that she's received from the public. It's not something that I ever wanted or thought that I would ever have or need as an artistic director of a theater company. None of my colleagues in the field are experiencing this. It's led to Garrett now having a security detail. She says some in the community object to OSF's more inclusive and modern programming since she joined the nearly 100-year-old nonprofit theater. What I'm trying to do is create a space where everybody can come to OSF and rub elbows with other people. Um, and that's on our digital platform as well as on uh, as is, is in our uh, our live spaces. Garrett's been upfront about her emphasis on diversity since the beginning. In April, OSF rolled out the renowned Broadway musical Once on this Island. It resonates black joy and sorrow, as well as battling through the pandemic. But that is what OSF has always been, and that's what it should always be. It should never just be a place for one group of people. It's been an unprecedented couple of years for OSF from dealing with COVID-related shutdowns, laying off 90% of staff, and the impact of the 2020 Almeida fire. Now, across the country, theaters are reporting a 60% drop in regular audiences over the last few years, and OSF is feeling that as well. It made adjustments to next year's schedule as a result. My vision for the future is about recovery, sustainability, and then getting OSF to a place of thriving. Despite the negativity from some against her, Garrett says she and her colleagues remain focused on building the future of OSF. What they're actually threatening is uh, me so that I will stop and stifle the voices of the next generation of writers. And I'm trying to save OSF so that I can save uh, Ashland. And I'm trying to save Ashland because I think it's important and I like the Rogue Valley and I want to live here and I want to be safe here. And I want other people to feel safe here as well. Garrett says Ashland police are aware of the threat and are working with her security. Now, we did reach out to APD late tonight with questions. Chief Tyro Mayor said APD only recently found out about this and is seeking more information to start an investigation. APD plans to meet with Garrett and OSF next week. But as for OSF, they shared Monday that they have exceeded their fundraising goal for last weekend's gala event. Live in studio, Anthony Carter, NBC5 News.